Hello and welcome, I'm Tino and today you are going to be learning all about dozer blades. Why? Because if you play at max level and you boost share money to level 4, you are going to be resisting a super strong strike from the Sherman Panzer army and you need something better than the best template that you have already and there is where dozer blades come into play. And if you are in Paradoxian channel, please subscribe here, it's Tino Dua English. I created this channel two weeks ago, so I hope to find you here. I will keep moving stuff from Paradoxian to here. First, to use those blades, you need Engineering Level 2 and have the No Step Back DLC enabled. Once you have the technology, you are able to add to any of your tank the dozer blade component, here it is. It costs one production cost, but it adds one entrenchment point to the tank. So let's mouse over and you can see there it costs one production cost and adds one entrenchment to the division that inclu includes this tank. So for example this division, if you take a look, it has zero entrenchment, but if we add the engineering company, let's find it down here we click plus and we click the engineering company and now the entrenchment went up to seven so we can conclude the engineering company gives us seven and now let's give the entrenchment bonus to this tank by adding a dozer blade and check back this template now we are going to modify our kb2 tank and we are going to add a dozer blade here it is and we save this template and now, as you can see in the template, we see now Entrenchment 8, assuming that you have the new tanks of the model in your division. But you are not limited to one. Take a look at this template. I replaced the artillery by self-propelled artillery, and the Entrenchment went up from 7, that was the single infantry with the engineering company to 17 so it's kind of adding an extra engineering company and a half all these cheap self repair artillery have those are blades and the main tank too and now we are going to answer the question what does it mean to have extra 10 entrenchment so we can wait if it's worth it or not to calculate that you need to mouse over and the, this shield and this will give you the detail you have a base value in this case we have the base that is five points that all the units have just base entrenchment five points and worst case scenario we have grand battle plan doctrine that gives us plus extra 10 we have also some Soviet doctrines that give you give us plus one. We have the division template. This template does not use blazer, blazer those those are blades. They only have um, engineering, so it's seven extra points. This total twenty three percent plus this, these bonuses, but it's twenty three that is twenty twenty three that is converted to fifty one percent defense bonus on entrenchment. This means that on defense we are going to show you right now. Take a look at this combat. We just mouse over this unit and we are going to see the details. The best unit is that one exactly. It gives us 1500 the same defensive damage. And if you mouse over you will see entrenchment it should say 51, but it says just 42. So despite what the other message said, in real life, this 51 is transformed into just 42. So the actual effect of having 43 entrenchment bonus in this case is to have 42 extra percent damage and also defense. So, as conclusion, each point of entrenchment, each it should give you more than two points of defense, two percent more on defense, but it actually gives a little bit more than two percent on defense. So, adding ten points of entrenchment, what we just show in the template, will be kind of an extra eighteen percent defense bonus and damage dealing when you are defending. 
and as you can see the dozer blade gives you a bonus that is proportional to the soft attack of the division and the defense of the division that means that if the division is big like, like in this case you will get more benefits from the dozer blade but if the unit is very small it will be a waste of resources since it will provide entrenchment bonus for just for example four battalions it's like the engineering company the engineering company is useful when the division is big or the logistic or the maintenance but if the company is very small they are kind of useless and you are much better with companies that give you raw power like the artillery rockets and so on. And now we can compare for example simple artillery against rocket artillery. Rocket or oh, sorry self-propelled artillery. Self-propelled can include a dozer blades and it means that when the unit is big it will be it will add an extra bonus and also it will add raw bonus. On the other hand the artillery will just add raw bonus. This we can conclude that if the unit is small artillery are the way to go since they are cheaper but when the unit gets bigger 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 at some point the bonus of the self prepared artillery will op offset the cheap cost of the artillery and we are going to find out on the next video when is the exact point when the self prepared artillery is more efficient than the simple artillery also self propelled artillery gives you hardness and that will make you take less damage we are going to analyze this on the next video and also rock self propelled artillery gives you more firepower using the same combat width and that cannot be measured with an efficient or not efficient model because if you check um, if you make a graph using combat width and raw damage the winner will be the self repair artillery but keeps you tactical and strategic advantages that the simple artillery will not give you so it's kind of many aspects and we are going to dedicate a whole video to that topic hope you find this information useful and thanks for watching bye bye